Hey friends, so now we have something very interesting and as well makes a lot of fun. We're gonna learn how to control the flow of our logic. So now we're gonna take the control of how things gonna be executed in Python. We're gonna build the logic conditions, if else. We're gonna make repetitions and iterations using for and while. So now let's start with the first question. What are you talking about? What is a control flow in a code? And why do we need it in the first place? So let's go. Control flow is like a logic you build inside your code to control the path your program follows. So this logic gonna tell Python, should I run this part? Should I skip it? Should I repeat it? So it's a logic in your code to decide what to do next. Let's understand what this means exactly. So, so far what we have done is, we have a Python script and we start from top to bottom, writing commands step by step, like print this, assign that, get an input from user, print again. So it's like you are creating to-do list for Python. And once you execute it, Python has to go from the top and start executing your command step step by step until it reach the bottom of your code. So as you can see here, we don't have any control flow. Everything gonna be executed like a straight line. So it's like driving your car in an empty straight highway. There is no turns, no traffic lights, just single line from start to end. Sounds peaceful, right? But here's the thing. Real life isn't like that. You don't just go in straight line forever. Life is messy. Sometimes you drive into a busy city. There are forks, bridges, hundreds of signs, traffic lights left and right and sometimes the conditions change like the engine is too hot or maybe there is like a storm sometimes you have to stop and exit and this is exactly what happens in coding we have complex tasks and we have to control the flow of our code okay so let's check this the first way to control the flow of your code by building something called conditional statements so how this looks like in your code let's say that you start writing your code as normal and then you come to a point where you have two blocks of codes one on the left and one on the right but you don't want to execute both of them. So you want to execute one of them based on a question. So that means you build like a question inside your code. We call it condition. And based on the answer, if the condition is true, you go to the right block of code. But if the answer for the question is false, you go to the left side. So with that, you are building like a logic or a decision. So now let's see that you executed this. What's going to happen? The first block of code going to execute it as normal. And then the question going to be asked inside your code. And if it's true, then it's going to go to the right side and start executing the right block and then after that the last block of code gonna be executed as normal as you can see now we have a piece of code that is not executed so that means with that we are not executing the whole thing now let's say that you have executed again and after asking the question the answer was no it is false then this time the left part can be executed and then Python goes to the last part and executed as well so as you can see this time we went to the left side and the right block of code is completely ignored so my friend it's like a crossroads in your code Python can comes into intersection, then checks the sign and choose one way or other. Once it goes to this path, of course, it keep going to the end of the code. So this is one way how to make decisions using conditional statements in your code. But now what about if you want to repeat something? So you want to keep going until certain condition is met. And for that, we built something in our code called a loop. So think about it like this. Imagine you are cleaning your room. You just don't go and pick one t-shirt and stop. You keep going t-shirt after t-shirt and you keep going clean cleaning stuff in your room until one condition is met and that is your room is clean the floor is clean so what you have just done in your room a loop by the way if your room is not clean go and do that same thing my friend in coding instead of repeating the same task over and over what we can do we can go and build a loop to execute the same code multiple times so how this looks like in coding you're gonna start normally doing few stuff and then you come to a piece of a task that you want to repeat it so what you're gonna do you're gonna build again here a question or a condition and based on the answer if it's like true then it's gonna go to the code that we want to keep repeating execute it completely and then go and ask the same question so if the answers now still is true python gonna go again and execute the same code from the top to the bottom and then go back and ask the same question so as you can see we have now the shape of loop and python keep executing this block of code until we have different answer once python gets the answer that it wants then it's gonna break the loop and exit and go to the rest of your code so as you can see we are controlling the flow here where we are making like a loop inside our code in order to repeat the same task over and over so now my friend with that you have now two superpowers in order to to control the flow of your code you can make decisions using the conditional statements or you can repeat actions and tasks using loop so by looking to this you can move your code from something simple to smart where your program gonna think choose and act and believe me you will end up using these everywhere 
Now, in order to build all those stuff in Python, we need tools. Now, I'm going to show you the whole roadmap, all the tools that we can use in order to control the flow. And I split it into two main sections. The first one, it is the control flow statements. So they are like special instructions that you can use in Python to change the flow. And here we have like two subsections, like conditional statements, if, else, else, if. So this stuff going to help us to make decisions. And the other section here, we have the repetition, the loops. And here we have two important statements, the for loop and the while loop and as well we have some statements to skip stuff like the break continue and pass so those statements are the core building blocks that we can use in order to build the logic control the flow of our code now the statements alone is not enough we need something essential we need to give them conditions the questions the rules that python gonna check and here where the boolean expressions comes in so now we have a lot of different ways on how to build the expressions like either using the values or maybe functions that returns true or false and as well we could use a lot of operators in order to check something like the comparison operator the logical operator we have membership and identity so now my friend all those expressions are very important to understand so that you have enough tools to build a logic to build the conditions that you can use inside your statements and with that you can cover many different scenarios and requirements so now what we're gonna do i decided to deep dive into first the boolean expressions in order to get ourselves ready with anything once we start building statements statements so let's go first with the boolean expressions so now before we start with any operators we're gonna cover the values and the functions let's go so if you like this video and you would like to have more free content like this then support the channel by subscribing liking commenting this really can help the channel to grow and to reach others like you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video